Today's video is all about what I pack when I go on a Disney cruise. All of my must-have Disney cruise items, and I'm really glad that you're here. This is not one of those videos that's gonna tell you a ton of things you have to buy for your upcoming Disney cruise. These are the things that I take on my Disney cruise. Your experience, as always, may vary. So, the very first thing we're gonna talk about are mouse ears. Now, even if you are someone who is like, does that weird? Do I need to wear mouse ears? Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> I think mouse ears are just part of the thing. Do you have to wear them all day, every day? No. Will I be wearing them all day, every day? Most of the time, yes, I will have these on. Now, I'm gonna take two pairs on the cruise ship and I need input from you guys in the comment section about which ones I should take. Um, these will go as my casual ears. These are from BB Brook and look how cute, like the black stitching is the Mickey heads. Love these. And then for my formal ears, what I'll wear in the evening, I'm debating between the black and the celebration purple. So vote below which one you think I need to take. Um, obviously the black is more neutral and will go with everything, but the celebration purple is just kind of to die for. So yeah, pick which one you think I should take and I'll let you guys know on Instagram which one I decided to go with. So the very first thing I'm gonna show you in this big pile of stuff is probably the only one in this group that will ruin your trip if you don't have it, okay? Really everything else, aside from like your glasses and prescription medication, you could forget and Disney will have a way for you to get it. But what's in here is vitally important and this is your travel documents folder. This is where you're gonna want your passport. This is where I have my vaccination cards. This is where I have my port arrival form. All of those essential documents. Now, if you have a big family, I've seen a lot of people use like those reusable zipper pouches. You could even use a Ziploc bag, but but the important thing is to have all of the documents in one place that is super easy to get to and then make sure you do not put it in the bag that you give to the guys at the port right or girls or people because you're going to need that to get on the ship so have it in just one place where you know where it is easy to get to and don't put it in your checked bag super important um, this one is just a little like it's by cat kitson and i love it because it's got space for everything and don't forget to put a pen in here I like printing out my port arrival form. You could access it on your phone too, but I just like having actual paper in my hand instead of being like panicking or if the internet provider isn't working or I don't know, something. I like having stuff printed out. Speaking of bags that you need, I do not take like a full size handbag with me around the ship or on excursions or out in the evenings or whatever. I do, however, like to have a little clutch or a little crossbody or something. And this trip, I'm gonna take this one from Travelon. It's both a wristlet and a clutch. Um, it's super neutral, super basic, um, water resistant. So I can stick this in my beach bag even if I want to and not have to worry about it. I've had this for like eight years and it still looks brand new. So um, yeah, this is going with me. And really, this will be the only like handbag that I'm gonna take with me on the cruise. And then the second bag I'm gonna take is this big old beach bag. Now this is just literally from Jay McLaughlin and it is a big reusable bag. This is what I'm gonna throw like my towels in at Castaway Key, my book for the beach, my sunscreen, all that just kind of stuff that you need to have with you um, so that I can sit this on the beach or a lounge chair or whatever, not worry about it walking. It's actually a, just a great reusable tote. You could use any kind of beach bag. I like something like this because it's so easy to fold up, but you are gonna wanna have some kind of tote because when you get on to Castaway Key, which is Disney's private island, they have uh, attendants there with tons and tons of towels, but you are going to wanna take more towels than you need because what we have found is once you're on the island, additional towels are really hard to find. And it's kind of a pain to be like trying to find where you wanna sit and getting on the, you know, the shuttle if you're going out to Serenity Bay, which is the adults only beach, which I love. Um, and just having a big old tote that you don't have to baby, um, that you can throw your stuff in. In addition to this, 
I'm also going to take out there this waterproof bum bag. Now, um, this I've actually used snorkeling in Mexico and it worked like a dream. Um, it's literally waterproof, not just water resistant. So you can put your phone in here. And if you're worried about it, I would test it before you go. But this uh, brand, Cronova, is meant for snorkeling. So it, it should work really, really well for you. And I will put in here, um, like, you know, my lipstick, my key to the world card, my phone, maybe my credit card, maybe a little bit of cash if I'm, you know, if it's maybe I'm going to a beach excursion in port. And it's just a, you know, typical little bum bag, except for it happens to be waterproof. So this will go inside of this. And then too, I don't have to worry if sand or whatever gets in the bag that it's going to ruin my phone. So yeah, this is like, this is my little beach slash pool ensemble right here. The next thing that you're going to want to have, um, this is to do with kind of in the stateroom itself. And it's debatable whether I really need this because I know on the Wish they now have um, night lights in the bathroom, but I still feel like I'm going to want this for like if I get up in the middle of the night so I can see what I'm doing. This is a motion activated night light and it goes off until you move and then it goes on. So if I sit up in bed in the middle of the night, depending on where I have this positioned, it will go on. My last cruise, I had it kind of right at the end of the bed where that cabinet was and it came on no problem. It was fantastic. Um, highly recommend. I say it alone, so it's especially important to me because I get myself freaked out. But, um, and cruise rooms are just dark. Cruise rooms, I guess you call them state rooms, cabins, whatever, they're dark. So I like having this. I will report back after my trip on the Wish um, if this is still needed with the nightlight that they have in the bathrooms now, but it's going with me just in case. Now let's talk about, and I feel like this is maybe specific to Disney cruises, maybe not, I don't know. But this is my over excessive uh, personal cup situation. Okay, so Disney Cruise Line. Drinks are included and there are drink stations, drinks, not alcoholic drinks, but like Coke, soda, Diet Coke, Powerade, coffee, all of that. There are drink stations all over the ships in various places. They have cups for you, but they're little. And I like a big old cup, right? So I'm actually taking three different kinds of cups. And for a girl that does carry on only, you have to know, this is taking up a lot of space in my luggage, but it's very important to me. <laughs> First up, we have our cold beverages cup. This one I actually purchased at Castaway Key, which by the way, even if you're not a shopper, check out the shops on Castaway Key. They have some of the cutest stuff in there and a lot of it is specific to Castaway Key. You can't find it anywhere else. Now, the reason that this is important, the kind of cup, is you want something with a really big mouth because you're gonna use it in the soda machines. And I know that sounds dumb, but I took my Swell bottle a couple of cruises ago and that has a really small mouth on it, so it didn't work very well. I mean, it worked, but it was kind of a pain. So taking a big cup like this is really good. Now, what I like to do is have one for cold beverages and one for coffee. So in the morning, and this is from the DVC member cruise, isn't that cute? Um, I will go down and get my coffee and put it in this. It drives me crazy that there's no in-room coffee on the Disney cruise ships. I so wish that there was, but there isn't, and so we'll just deal. Okay, and then um, this one is for wine. Now this is a total product plug because this is from my own Teespring shop. See, it says Jen LaForge on it. Um, but I like to bring a bottle of wine on board literally just for my Myself. Even when I sail with Scott, he doesn't drink wine. And I will get like cocktails in the bars, but just straight up a glass of wine on board is such a ripoff. And so I like having, you can bring, I think, up to two bottles per person. I'll probably just bring one. It's a four night cruise because I'm not a huge drinker, but I do like having a glass of wine. So I can put it in this and then I can take it into the theater. I can take it in, you know, walking around the ship, whatever. And um, bonus, and I just heard this tip the other day, someone was talking about the like drink of the day, which are frozen that you can buy out on the deck. It's so hot that you can pour your drink of the day into this and it will stay cold a lot longer. So love this. So lots and lots of different kinds of cups. So this next item I'm gonna show you is kind of a grandma thing, but just trust me, okay? You could be 20 years old and you're gonna wish that you had followed my advice on this. They keep the temperature very cold on the ship. It's cold in the dining rooms, it's cold um, you know, in the movie theater, it's cold in the regular theater. 
it's cold. So even if you're sailing to the Bahamas in the summer, you're gonna wanna have a little layer. You're gonna wanna have like a little shawl or a sweater for the evenings in the dining room. And you're gonna wanna have like a little hoodie or something to wear during the day. It could be like this one I'm wearing, it could be like this, but I'm showing you this one because see, this is a Disney Cruise Line specific one by Nike. And it was a pretty penny and I had to buy it because I did not follow the advice that I'm giving you. So if you don't wanna be me and you don't wanna pay a fortune for a little three quarter zip hoodie, although I, do, or not hoodie, but jacket, I do love this jacket, um, bring in a light layer. You just, if you, if you pack it and you don't need it, no harm done, but bring it for yourself, bring it for your kids. I promise there will be a moment when even though it might be, you know, 95 degrees on the deck, you're gonna be inside and you're gonna wish you had it. So bring a layer, poopery. Um, this is just good, especially if you're in a cabin with, your family. Uh, this is the best invention since sliced bread. I wish I had invented this. When we first started selling it at my old job, I was like, that is so gross. Who's going to buy this? Oh, everyone. Everyone buys this. Um, so yeah, just buy it. Read about it if you need to, but surely by now you've heard of it and you know why it's so important to have it if you're in a stateroom with your whole family. A packable tote in case you buy stuff. Now, if you plan to shop, and if you're carry on only like me, you could run into a problem. I already know that I'm gonna have some stuff that I'm bringing back because I actually pre-ordered a little like Disney Wish champagne glass thing that I'm excited about. So on my way back to Atlanta, I will be checking my bag and then I will carry back on my backpack as my personal item and um, this little long chomp packable tote. Now. You do not have to pay what this costs. Packable totes, you can buy them on Amazon, they're cheap. This one, however, I will say, I have owned this for at least, at least eight years, maybe longer, and it still looks brand new, and it has been on pretty much every trip with me. The beauty of it is, and you know, a lot of people don't even talk about this, is the way that it folds up. So this will just go in my luggage, and then on the way back, I will put all of like my dirty clothes and everything in my suitcase, and that will get checked. And then my oh-so-precious purchases will be in this, and then also in my other personal item, and that will come back with me on the airplane. So a lot of people end up like buying an extra suitcase, paying all kinds of money. Do yourself a favor, bring some kind of tote that you can use to bring purchases back. Very important. Last thing super important this is my fan now i just bought an upgraded one if you've watched any of my packing videos you know that my fans are very important to me not you guys you can be my fans too <laughs> no i meant an actual fan because i'm 52 and really i've been this way this whole time i like to have air circulation when i sleep now i have had a cheap old amazon one forever and I just saw this one at Target. Scott and I were in there the other day. It's by a company called Treva. And it's a little sturdier than the one I already have. Look at that. So it will like sit on the nightstand. It has three different speeds. It has a USB plug-in and then a regular plug-in. Um, so this will be great. And I'll just have a little bit of air blowing on me um, during the night. State rooms are like airtight, which is great. Um, but both because they tend to be very quiet and because there's not a lot of air circulation, unless you want to run the, you know, air con in the room the whole night, which you may or may not want to do. Um, and of course you can run it just on fan and on and on it goes, but I like having actual air circulation and bonus, the noise just helps me sleep because sometimes I find cruise ships are actually a little too quiet. Um, so yeah, my own fan and I have it in my, <laughs> it has its own packing cube, very committed to my own fan. So. Yeah, if you're a person who like dresses up for pirate night and all of that, your must have cruise packing list is gonna be way bigger than mine. Honestly, I like to have less stuff because it makes me feel more free. I have like less to keep track of, less to worry about, and it just kind of enables me to enjoy my time more. So anyway, I hope if you're getting ready for a cruise, this video helped. If you're just dreaming about a cruise, I hope this video helped. And stick around because next week I'm gonna have my actual pack with me video because I still can't believe that we're only a week out from this trip. So I'll see you then. Make sure you give the video a big, big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And whatever you're doing, I hope you're being really good to each other. Bye.